Good morning. I'm so excited to show you my winter cozy morning routine because things change every season for me, including my bedding. And I feel like all my friends think I'm so weird that I change my bedding every season. But for me, it just makes everything feel fresh and new and kind of gives me something to look forward to when I get in and out of bed. So first thing I do is take my temperature to track my periods. You guys know I've been doing this for a long time. And then just like a quick little stretch, I spray my face with essential oils that have like ones that like will help you feel like awake and alive and then chug a ton of water. And honestly, I feel like these little things that you do and create like rituals like this, just give me something to look forward to when I wake up and make it easier. Because to be honest, like waking up is not always easy. It's not always fun. So you gotta find ways to make it fun. And then I make my bed every single morning because I truly believe clean physical space equals clean mental space. And it does help, it really does. So one thing I've been doing for the last month that has been a huge help for just how I feel overall is spending like 10 minutes in the morning stretching. So I've been using the full body stretch from the Love So Fitness app and doing some of the yoga videos in there. And it really just allows you to have that like time to yourself to wake your body up, wake up your mind and not feel like you're just rushing right into your day. So I used to do just kind of quick stretches first thing and move on, but 10 minutes and really just allowing my body to wake up because as much as like sleeping is very restorative, sometimes you wake up and your muscles are tight and your body's stiff and sore and then you try to just go into your day and you wonder why you don't feel great all day. At least I was like, what is happening? And I've been feeling so much better ever since I've been doing this. So then next I wash my face. I think a lot of people forget how much like dirt and grime builds up on your face while you sleep. So you gotta wash your face in the morning. And I've been using the Luna 3 still. I really just love how clean it gets my face. I feel like it helps get rid of like dead skin. And it maybe just is me, but I really do think that it also helps me make my face like look plumper, like in a good way, like nice and full and healthy and plump. Then I'll do my little hydrating mist, my moisturizer. And of course some oil because this girl's skin is always real dry, but especially in the winter, man, it's just been like, I feel like just peely and dry and horrible. So lots of oil. And my natural deodorant still been using every single day. I think it works wonderful. Ryan has not said I smell ripe recently, so that's a good sign. All right, then my thyroid medication and in for my favorite ritual of the day, which is coffee, coffee time. Uh, my coffee ritual has been the same forever. Sometimes I like add some new little twists and turns into it, but it's pretty much the same right now with my cute coffee cabinet. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys about that guy. Yep, that one, Persona. Persona Nutrition, I've been using for about a month and I'm so happy they decided to sponsor this video so I could show you guys my whole routine, but especially talk to you about them because I truly feel like I've felt more energized. My hair has been looking healthier. I'm getting like my magnesium, so I'm not having to take that separately at night. And you remember I used to take like 15 different supplements, like I had that whole little basket. Well, Persona, you go online and take a quiz and it tells you like everything that's recommended for you. It asks you if you're taking other medications or other supplements. And then they have a full staff of like nutritionists and people there to guide you to make sure that you're getting a personalized supplement pack, which is really cool. All right, and then I take my ACV, my apple cider vinegar, which I stopped taking for a while because honestly, like it's really rough to take, but I do feel like it makes a big difference. So I've been trying to get it back in my routine. And then my vital, my little adaptogen mix that I make. Yep, stir it all in there and then add my oat milk with the cinnamon steamed in. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. Oh, I want a cup right now. It's so pretty. Then this is like the key to my cozy morning. Again, this is taking extra time out of my morning, but making it like purposeful so I can relax. Um, these are leftover games from our Christmas party from our white elephant gift exchange. I gotta figure out what to do with them. But I put the fire on and I've been sitting down and really focusing on my dreams and my goals for 2020. I'm gonna do actually a vlog for you guys talking about New Year's resolutions, how I make mine, what mine are. But I've been using the LSF Goals Planner to start to formulate and craft all the things that I wanna see happen next year. And writing it down really is one of the most important parts. Next is breakfast time. So I'm working out later in the day. So I'm eating my breakfast right now. And breakfast, it's easy to either skip or just to like make a smoothie or something boring. But I've really wanted to be like more creative and again, make my average weekday morning feel like a weekend. Like 
why save that just for the weekends? If you wake up a little extra early, you'll have more time to actually enjoy yourself. So I've been using Playjoy a ton. I've shared Playjoy with you guys a bunch because they have so many amazing recipes and you basically get a personalized meal plan. You can put in all of your preferences if you have any dietary restrictions or if you like just wanna do batch meals or simple meals. Like there's so many things that you can put in to make sure they're giving you a meal plan that works for you and you can even put in guidelines from the Love Sweat Fitness meal plans to make sure it fits, which is really nice and convenient, especially going into January. Like this is gonna make your life so easy so you can help reach all your goals. But this is a pancake recipe. It was actually a banana walnut one on Plate Joy. And I adapted it for the fall, winter, holiday season time. I've been eating them for like two months now. But it has pumpkin and cinnamon and um, pecans on top. And it's just like super simple ingredients. It only takes about five minutes, but it makes it feel like you're having like a gourmet breakfast in just like a short amount of time, which is really great. So I've been making it for Ryan and I, and they're loaded with fiber and protein and healthy fats. And look how good they look. And they cook up really nice too, even though they're like with just like coconut flour and eggs. And I have a code for you guys for the Plate Joy app if you guys wanna check it out. So you can get 10 days free, $10 off. I'm gonna put that down below. Then I clean the dishes immediately while those are cooking, just so I don't have to think about it later and then you're not wasting any time. And once they're ready, put them on cute little plates for us. These are my Christmas dishes I have to bring out, just like for the winter time in general. A tiny, tiny bit of maple syrup. They're already pretty sweet, so you don't need to add too much. And then I take the coconut cream from the top of the can, just a dollop on top that adds like that whipped cream vibe without using whipped cream and without adding sugar. And put the pecans on top and then have them for Ryan and I. And instead of just like normally, I would either be eating while I work or eating when I'm running out the door, I've been sitting and trying to be very like intentional about my food and what I'm eating and enjoying every bite of it instead of just rushing through it. Oh, look how cute the tree is. I wish I could have my Christmas tree all year. It makes me so happy. And little Santa's the cutest. So after breakfast time, it is time to take my vitamins. So again, this is a persona nutrition. I have to tell you guys about these little packs though. So one thing I never used to think about ever was when I took my supplements. I kind of just took them when I remembered and just thought that was fine. But it's so great because they give you packs that are individually packed and labeled for morning and evening with all the supplements that they, that they recommend for you so that you know exactly when to take them. It's gonna be the most beneficial for your body. And that is so great. Like, you don't even have to think about it. And then not only are like the actual supplements themselves transparent, but Persona as a company is just really clear about where they source all of their stuff. You know you're getting high, good quality vitamins and supplements. And again, they have nutritionists that you can talk to anytime you need if you have questions or if you're wondering if something's like good or not. And I really think you'll be surprised with some of the supplements they recommend. There was a couple in there. I thought I knew a ton about supplements. And there are a few that I had never even heard of that they recommended for me. So go take the quiz. I'll put the link down below for you guys. Definitely recommend. Then it's time to get dressed and head out to the new office. You guys, if you have not seen the LSF HQ office yet on Instagram or Instagram stories, you gotta go check it out. It is so amazing. I'm gonna be doing a vlog for you, showing you everything from start to finish. I know you're gonna love it. Oh, okay. Okay, I hope you guys like my routine. If you did, click the thumbs up. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So